16 years ago, I left Nicaragua for a better life in a fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Woo! America welcomed me and I embraced the values of hard work, learning the language, and respecting the laws. It's the American thing to do. In 2022, my three boys and I faced a devastating house fire. We lost everything. And starting over in Joe Biden's economy was almost impossible. The Biden economy is driving prices through the roof. Rent, gas, groceries, everything. As a life insurance worker, I see the struggle of people trying to save for their future while barely managing their basic needs. I'm living that same struggle every day. Life is too hard right now. One of my sons works three jobs and the other holds down two. That makes six jobs for three people just to survive in Biden's economy. Our open borders are making this problem worse. It's upsetting. It's upsetting to see millions of dollars being sent to help immigrants who came here illegally while hardworking families who did it the right way are left struggling. The fact is that illegal immigration hurts legal immigrants the most. The Biden system is backwards and broken. Inviting America opportunities to get ahead are dwindling, and our education system is failing our children. What happened to teaching reading, writing, and math? Now, it's like our kids are getting a degree in pronoun studies. He, she, they, them. I have expect my son to come home with a diploma in advanced day ten theory. Life was completely different under President Trump. We prosper. <laughs> to my beloved Latino community, it's time to wake up and smell the cafecito. <laughs> In 2020, I made a mistake. A mistake that is hard to admit, especially in this room. <laughs> in 2020, I voted for Joe Biden. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He has made me regret it. This November, my vote won't be taken for granted. And this time, I won't regret it. Please join me in voting for Donald J. Trump.